An evening in rain, Santa Mead was told that a meeting took place here in poor winter hall. Twixt an exile stone cloak from Windham, I'll wage, and a cocky elf lass who thought herself a mage. While the good men of Skyrim drank ale wine, and Mead did the little elf stroll in the door. And among us, the pair seemed to be in cahoots, namely Hoverick, Molehand, and the elf we call Boots. <laughs> To the milk drinking hopper, Rick said, On a journey to Mothal, I seek to be led. Her naivety clear from the way she did talk, her innocence oozing like stink from an orc. Was it bad that she feared giant spiders or bears? No, her brain is concerned that she told that the empathy Skyrim and dragons are youth. But the gods forbid one drop of mud in my boots. Yourselves would prefer to lie dead than to babysit elves. But said Hoverick, if I'll be your chaperone, you will buy me a drink or you'll journey alone. So the very next morning, cross cold northern coast, ventured this at an enviable pair. They left prancing and skipping and playing their flutes. Maybe not, but there's not much else that rhymes with boots. Admit I don't yet know how this story ends Where did they get to? What did they do there? Is anyone listening? Does anyone care? So let me suggest this ending I prefer When a great fearsome dragon they met So the scene ends with them as someone else computes A smoldering pair of fine brown leather boots